getting together during these crazy times online, coming into your house and playing some songs for you, songs that these guys have written. People are joining in from all over the country, and um, I wanted to let you know that you can. Um, we want you to interact with us and interact with the songwriters. So I want to let you know you can join the chat. There's a chat function on um, this program, and all you have to do is create an account and log in, and you can log in by clicking on the login slash register button located in the chat box. So do that, make a name, and that way you can just talk to us, and I can we can relay messages, and you can ask questions and just get interactive with the songwriter around. Um, and it, you can also tip if you like songs or if you want to request a song and you want to tip somebody to play a song for you that you love that they've written. Um, you just hit this thing called Get Coins, and you purchase your coins, and then you can tip them by just entering the amount you want and hitting up and doing all that. But again, I'm Kevin Mack. Welcome to Southern Rounds, and we're just going to get this show started. I'm going to introduce each songwriter as the first round goes out, and uh, they'll tell you a little bit about themselves. I'll tell you a little bit about them. And kicking off the round tonight, the fifth show of Southern Rounds is Mr. Wyatt Durrett. How you doing, Wyatt? Hey, hey, brother. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Um, Wyatt joined us last week. He was with Levi and Mel Washington out in South Carolina. He's got a special guest with him again out in South Carolina. Mr. Chris Gelbute is there with him. And um, Wyatt, I'm going to let you kick off the show, buddy. What are you going to play for us? Tell the people what you're playing. Um, I'm going to play a song that me and uh, Chris Gelbute and Tyler Reeve wrote. It was the second song we ever wrote, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it's a song about the little things, man. I think, you know, we're all always running real fast to find happy, whatever our version of that is. And uh, a lot of times it's right there around you in the little things. And uh, that's what this one's about. It's called A Glimpse. Guess that first cup of coffee on a cool mountain morning. Kiss on your cheek from your girl without wanting. It's that love that she gives. That's what happiness is. It's the smile from a stranger you pass on the street. You pass along to the next one you meet. It's that feeling you get. That's what happiness is. Before you know it, these kinds of moments gone in the blink of an eye. So keep your heart open, never stop hoping, catch them as they're passing by. That's a life well lived. That's what happiness is. It's some band in some bar that's just playing for beers. Singing that song you ain't heard in ten years when that melody hits. That's what happiness is. It's a slow, easy Sunday with hummingbirds humming. Warm summer breeze and a six-string strum. A little smoke on my lips. That's what happiness is. Before you know it, these kinds of moments gone in the blink of an eye. So keep your heart open, never stop hoping, catch them as they're passing by. That's a life we'll need. That's what happiness is. Come on, boy. The sunset that catches you on your way home Makes you pull off to the side of the road Just to catch a glimpse of what happiness is Yeah, I pray I'll catch a glimpse of what happiness is Of what happiness is Of what happiness Great song, man, Mr. Wyatt Durrett. Thank you, man. Thank Fruit. you, Buddha, for playing, Fruit. buddy. Yeah, man. Talking about Buddha, some sick guitar playing, y'all. Uh, that's a Chris Gelbuda, Wyatt Durrett. They wrote that together, and Chris is there in uh, South Carolina with Wyatt. You guys having fun down there? 
We are, but we are in the one room of the house that doesn't have AC and it's boiling in here. So if you're wondering why we get uh, exceedingly sweatier as the night sweating. goes on, that's going to be why. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, funny because I've been folks. fighting they're everybody sweating, here they, about. They got a little sauna going on, trying to drop. You know, they're just trying to get to get the toxins out of their system. That's what they do it while they play. <laughs> sweating you know? out the hate, baby. Sweating out oh, the hate. Man. Sweating out the hate, man. <laughs> hey guys, we got a lot of people watching here. We got some people in Virginia Beach. We got people in Raleigh, North Carolina, Charleston, New York. Um, people all over Colorado, California, just cool. joining in. Wow. Want to thank a Rifle Road Ranger just tipped a thousand coins. So thank you so much, Boston, New Hampshire in the house. Hey Layla, thank you for joining us on Southern Rounds. Um, well, guys, go ahead, Chris. Uh, what you gonna do for us, man? You down there with Wyatt sweating, sweating. So we want to get you going, man. Oh, well, I guess I'll start high energy in case I pass go out. into whatever the hot version of hypothermia is here. <laughs> Heat exhaustion. It's called Ain't Gonna Drink Yourself. Here's a stack of past two bills piled to the sky. And a pack of wolves outside my double wide. Should be laying low with my honey, saving up my money, making all the wrong things right. Doing what I'm supposed to do. Instead of drinking on a Wednesday night Oh, but I'm just trying to do my part Keep the lights on in this whiskey bar Pull that bottle off that shell Cause it sure ain't gonna drink itself Yeah, the fences all need mending on the farm a honey do this longer than my arm. Yeah, I should be hanging outside, wishing on my ride, getting all the doings done. Instead of hanging out at half past one, in the dive, having too much fun. Oh, but I'm just trying to do my part to keep the lights on in this whiskey bar. So pull that. Just need cash and the band needs a little love Cause the floor needs dancing The kids need tapping And the cops need a feeling of oh, 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 I'm just trying to do my part Keep the lights on in this whiskey bar Pull that bottle off of that shell Cause it's so ain't gonna drink it Get it, man. You okay? I'm good, but I'm going to mute us so we can turn the fan on for a minute here. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if Buddha and Wyatt fall over, just know it's because they're hot. They're not drunk or anything. <laughs> it's just hot as hell where they are, and so they might just tip over, but we'll just keep on getting it. That was Chris Galbuda. Hey, we got we got Shiffy, and the Shiffies are here. Uh, they wanted us to say, hey, what's up to everybody? Um, Chris, Kat, and Kat just made a comment about Paul McDonald. And Paul is next. So Paul, Cat just commented. How you doing, by the way, man? I'm you doing, doing okay? I'm doing great. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hanging at my buddy Dave's spot right now. This is a beautiful home basement studio. So I appreciate him having me over here to do this. Yeah, you're in Nash. You're in here in Nashville, man. And they, I know you. Cat said Paul's beard is legit. <laughs> Paul has got the kind of beard that I, I wish I could have. He's got you that. He's got out. it. Yeah. I can't, man. It gets too patchy. I got, I got the left side grows long, and that's it. I just, I'm lopsided. Well, I did um, see, I did see on your Instagram as of recently, you cut like a, 
you know, the circular bowl cut, but it like the just a, just a bowl, <laughs> like the horseshoe, like your it's, bowl. It's a skullet. A yeah, skullet. well, that right, was all, going for yeah. the skullet. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got to do what you got to do, man. But, you know, Paul, you've been all <laughs> – Paul, I met Paul down in Cabo this past fall, and we were roommates um, at the Bahia down in Cabo. We were doing uh, Songwriters in Paradise, and uh, we were down there, and, and me and Paul bonded. Uh, he's become one of my good friends, and he's a talented singer, songwriter. Some of y'all, you know, a lot – if you if you kind of recognize him, Paul – um he was on american idol he did great on there and then post american idol he's just blown up touring the country i know this past winter you were on tour with hansen i remember mm -hmm. us talking about that well, how many days was that 30 some odd days yeah we did uh, that was just you know kind of a normal winter tour Pro yeah probably 30 30 shows or something like that 20 30 something something around but yeah those that those guys do great it's good rooms and a bunch of screaming you know, i think screaming girls I Women. think about you, man. I'm like, right before COVID hit, man, you got it in, buddy. You got to hit the road and really give them one good hoorah. And then, you know, I know you, I've seen you've been on the road here lately. You're doing a house concert shows. And Paul ain't stopped. Paul's a great songwriter. He's a road dog. He's a great performer, great singer, great beard grower. <laughs> and uh, we're going to... We're gonna let Paul have at it, y'all. Um, Thank you. Buddy. And, and by the way, let us know while Paul's singing, and you know, listen to Paul and tell us where you're tuning in from. We'd love to know. Let him know where you're listening from. And but Paul, I'm gonna pass it to you, man. Cool. Pick, cool. pick, pass. What you gonna do, buddy? This is a uh, this is a song off uh, off my last record. Uh, it's about new love. Uh, it's the, yeah the, the the first track on the record. Um, recently, an artist reached out about cutting it, and he did it. But uh, but I don't know when it'll be released or this this and that. So uh, but yeah, this is a, a song called New Lovers. I don't understand It'll make no sense You don't have to, baby Yeah, when it feels like this I can hear your heart Beating on top of mine on the same wave now Yeah, we're running on the same time Yet yeah, and I want to get high Cause for the first time in a long time I'm feeling alright Yet yeah, and I want to get stoned Off oh, that look in your eyes You'd say I'd never let go I give all my life just for a moment with you Doing all the things that new lovers do oh, oh, oh. You, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you hook me real quick, baby Yeah, and you keep reeling me You got me on the stage yeah, babe, you got me feeling it Oh, darling, if you only knew You got me in the palm of your hands You got me all choked up Yeah, babe, I hope you understand that Yeah, and I wanna get high Cause for the first time in a long time I'm feeling all right And I wanna get stoned Off that look in your eyes, you'd say I'd never let go I'd give all my life just for a moment with you Doing all the things that new lovers do oh, oh, oh. You, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah oh. And I want to get stoned Off that look in your eyes It said never let go You got me in love You got me feeling it like uh, Yeah, I need something different Something better, something real this time Yeah, I want to get high Yeah, and I want to get stoned 
Of that look in your eyes It's saying never let go Yeah, you got me in love You got me feeling alive Oh yeah, I need something different Something better, something real this time I give all my life just for a moment with you Yeah, baby, I give it all away For a moment with you Doing all the things New lovers do Oh McDonald, y'all. Yeah. Killer job, yeah. bro. Thanks, brother. Great job, man. Let's all give Paul a round of applause. If you're watching from your living room, your kitchen, or even sitting on the toilet, go ahead and give him a big old round of applause. That's hey, a beautiful thank thing you. about beautiful thing about stream, man. You can watch this thing anywhere. Paul, that was great, man. Well, thank you, brother. Great job, buddy. Love that song, man. And um, everyone, they're commenting. Uh, Shiffy, Shiffy2020 said, this is my favorite P-Mac song. That's what's up, so man. I appreciate it. P-Mac. Yeah, that P see my last name's McDonald too. So when they stuck me and Paul in the room together, we thought we were long lost cousins, and they were just introducing us <coughs> to each other. Hey, yeah, uh, after after that yeah. after that trip we did uh, down in Cabo, we thought about starting up a '90s country band and uh, you know rocking yeah. full on mullets and doing it proper. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe dual McD skulls. We square. were we went and did a photo shoot together. Yeah, I wish I, I, wish I had that on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it to you, man. But that was great, y'all. That's Paul McDonald. He's got more coming up, man. Great job, brother. Love thank you. Miss you. Thank you, brother. And um, thank you for joining us on Southern Rounds. Um, moving right along, we're going to keep on going. Um, the next guy we got up, this is his first time on Southern Rounds, and I'm a, I'm a fan of this guy. I I, uh, um, I had seen him play at a, a writer's round here, my buddy Rob does, called The Revival. And the other day I was searching through YouTube, and uh, I, I seen uh, him and Riley Green and uh, Brent Cobb doing a show together. And um, sounds like a, he, he, he's a tremendous artist, uh, singer, songwriter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Adam Hood. How you doing, Adam? Good, man. How you doing? Thanks for having no, me, I'm Kevin. That's, uh, my, hey, well, thank uh, what an introduction. I'm, I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, you should be, and you, you just, just don't let it go to your head. No, yes. but no, seriously, it never I, does. Trust I, me. I, I'm just kidding with you. No, I um, yeah, I'd actually <laughs> seen you at, at uh, Rob had me come to the revival, and I got to see you play, man, and you blew me away. And when they told us, told me that you were joining us, um, today, I was really excited. And I was excited for people to hear you. Um, you're a, a great talent, man, and I, and I hear from the grapevine you're working on a record right now. Yes. Getting ready to put out some new music. <clears throat> yeah, just kind of waiting on on the the kind of the storms to clear, for lack of a better word. But yeah, we've yeah we we finished tracking a project. Uh, we did some stuff down in Macon, Georgia, at Capricorn Studios. Brent Cobb is a good friend of mine, and and uh, we, he's producing the record. And we got the guys from Blackberry yeah. Smoke to play on it as a, the backing band. So it's a it's a nice. pretty unique project. Yeah, it's really specific, and we had a good time recording it. And I just I can't wait to get it out, man. Well, man, you know Caleb Hutchinson, don't you? I do, yeah. yeah. C Caleb was telling me about it because I think Brent's doing his record too. And that's, that's how, right. And it's funny how you hear about people. The thing about Nashville, folks, is you know everybody. It's a, it, it seems like a big town, but it's really not. And everybody knows everybody, and everybody you find out what everyone's doing. So he had I had seen him, uh, written with him a couple weeks ago, and he uh, he was telling me about your project. And you, I know you got a y'all look it up, Adam. I believe you have a like a little clip. Um, showing like a little teaser for it online. Yeah, um, correct. Yeah, if Mercer, I'm not mistaken. Mercer University is kind of owns the property to Capricorn, and so the guys from the the audiovisual department or whoever, like the school down there, they just kind of came in and and um, just said, "Hey, would you mind if we if we just took some video and some content?" I mean, you know, you know how valuable that is these days. Oh, absolutely. You know? yeah. And so yeah, they did a great job with it, and it was all just you know thanks to the university. But Caleb came in and sang some backup vocals on it. So I mean, man, what are Talk about good singers and just a cool guy. And I, I Brent played me oh. some of his record, and it's it's awesome. It's great. He's a really talented guy. He is, man. He he's a good cat. And uh, y'all, and the, that whole setup is y'all. I want y'all to check out um, Adam Hood. That's the whole point of Southern Rounds is bringing these songwriters who are just great artists and they write great songs. And we want to put them in your face and give them a platform 
um, so you can hear them. And Adam Hood is one you're going to want to hear more of. So, Adam, what are you going to do for people right now Man. watching? we got people in New York, Boston, Charleston, Mount Pleasant, Nashville, L.A., Newtown, all, all over the place, man. What you got for Well, me? I'm nervous now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, this, here's one off my last record. I wrote this one with Pat McLaughlin. Okay. I don't want to add anything to what's already been a long, hard day. I just want to take some pressure off you And get a little bit off your plate You take care of a lot of stuff Nobody seems to appreciate Lord knows life can sure get tough So I think it's time we take the easy way But it's time to let the curtains down Time to turn the TV off Where well, you can get the glasses out And I'll put a good record on It's time to stop and thank the Lord For another beautiful day And remember what we're put here for And maybe try to head that way Time we take the easy way Well we don't say it near enough Where well, we used to say it every day well, Your lipstick on my coffee cup Or I love you on a window pane We tend to get ahead of ourselves Driving in the passing lane Ain't we tried everything else I think it's time we take the easy way Well it's time to let the curtains down Time to turn the TV off Well you can get the glasses out And I'll put a good record on Time to stop and thank the Lord For another beautiful day And remember what we put here for And maybe try to head that way It's time we take the easy way Time to let the curtains down Time to turn the TV off Well, baby, you can get the glasses out And I'll put a good record on It's time to stop and thank the Lord For another beautiful day And remember what we put here for Maybe try to head that way It's time we take the easy 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 way Oh, I wasn't... I wasn't lying to y'all, Mr. Adam Hood now. Thank you. Great yeah, job, man. man. I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Thanks for having me. This is so, great. Oh, yeah, dude. Do. This is going to be your first of many, man. Welcome to the family. We're glad that you're doing it, doing this with us. And um, that was Adam Hood, y'all. And Adam, like you said, this was on his previous record, so y'all check that out. He's got music out on iTunes and Spotify. You know what? Go out and buy it and, and keep it on your phone. And I know that's how everybody listens to music nowadays. But go ahead and buy that record because you, you, you want to – you know, I like buying things that are worth buying. Right. Um, but, uh, Dan, we're, let's go ahead out to South Carolina again with Mr. Wyatt Durrett. Um, Wyatt's one of my best friends in the whole world, and he's uh, he's opened a lot of doors for a lot of people. And this Southern Rounds actually is his brainchild. He um, called me about two years ago, and he put the, we were out touring with this thing, playing a lot of festivals. And, he, you know, when everything got shut down, you know, he shifted to this. So, Wyatt um, – Thank you for giving us an outlet, man. We appreciate it. And uh, giving songwriters a voice to be able to do this. So go ahead and play one for us, buddy. I know you got a 
ton of hits and a ton of great songs that people ain't heard. What are we yet. doing? Yeah, man, Highway. All right. Uh, again, thank you, Kevin, um, for being such a gracious host, um, and to Adam and Paul and Buddha. Thank you guys for doing this, man. Uh, like Kevin said. There's just a lot of times songs, you know, just because of the way the system is, a lot of times there's a lot of great songs by great artists that just don't, the world doesn't get to hear for whatever, you know, for whatever reason. It is what it is. But uh, for that reason, and then also just making sure songwriters get taken care of, man, They're, they are the foundation of a song to begin with, and sometimes they get lost on the back end. So uh, that's another thing we're trying to pay attention to. But again, thank you guys for this. This is one of those songs for me that... Uh, just songs sometimes people need to hear them so they don't feel alone in, in whatever the thing is that uh they're going through and this song for me definitely had a lot of people come to me and uh say that exact thing and um it's why i fell in love with music too was uh its ability to connect and to heal and do all those things but uh this song is called highway 20 rod and i gotta kind of crowd the mic a little bit because we're sharing a mic so we're not trying to be tenacious d if you're watching out there <laughs> I ride east every other Friday But if I had it my way My day would not be wasted on this drive And I want so bad to hold you Son, there's things I haven't told you Your mom and me, we didn't get along So I drive and I think about my life and wonder why it'll slowly die inside every time I turn that truck around right at the Georgia line I count the days and the miles back home to you on that highway 20 ride It might calm you realize that if you see through my eyes, there was no other way to work it out. Part of you might hate me, but son, please don't mistake me for a man who didn't care at all. Cause I will drive and think about my life. Wonder why that'll slowly die inside. Every time I turn that truck around, right at the Georgia line, I count the days and the miles back home to you on that highway 20 ride. When you drive And those years they go flying by I hope you smile If I ever cross your mind It was a pleasure of my life And I cherished every time Cause my whole world It begins and ends with you On that highway 20 ride White Durrett with Highway 20 Ride. Um, man, killer. That was a big old hit for Zach Brown Band. Um, Wyatt has written so, so many songs with them. I think 13 number ones with them. And uh, when I met Wyatt, you know, sitting in the room with him, just becoming homies and stuff, and then sitting and listening to his the way he writes, Wyatt is, is the Zach Brown Band, in my opinion. They're a great band. And, but, man, your songwriting was so different and really stuck out on country radio, and you can hear that just with Highway 20 Ride. And I know that's a true story, too, about your son, isn't it, Wyatt? Yeah, man. I, uh, 
we got my wife and I got divorced at uh, I think my son was about a year and a half, two years old, and uh, she moved back to Florence, South Carolina. So uh, every other weekend, every Friday, I'd pick him up, uh, take Interstate 20, and uh, uh, pick him up in Augusta, right at the right at the state line. Like, the entire song is is truth, and a lot of it was written uh, in tears on that highway, on that interstate, rather. Yeah. I had to say highway because Interstate didn't sing well, but uh, so that's yeah. that's why it became highway. But um, no, that song, you know, I was I was a part of. Uh, it was really cool to be a part of. That whole thing with Zach and just uh, to gr- kind of grow up yeah. with the music business together, and uh, I was a uh, a spoke in a pretty special wheel to say the least. You know what I mean? But yeah, you were, yeah. man. That 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 was. A, I mean, that was when I was coming up through college and that whole movement, man. That was like when you guys came through. It was just like a, a tornado t- through the country music industry, and it, people loved it, and uh, still do love it, man. And you're you're still crushing it. You're killing it now i know you'll play some more hits for us but i just wanted the people to know that was a true story yeah, that you wrote about um and what a special thing to get that and, and have it become what it was and you'll always have that for your son man for sure. but that's highway 20 ride wyatt Durrett. you know dude there's a there is a cover band that goes out and dresses like zach brown band and they're called the band's name is highway they 20 ride that's, that's a true thing you're getting paid for that Somehow, That's what someone, I was thinking. Penny is on the. It's time, to start, it's time to start <laughs> dropping in some bars and collecting your dues, bro, because they ain't paying the PRO. Exactly. <laughs> Song so good, a band named themselves after it, y'all. But that's uh, Mr. Wyatt Durrett down there in South Carolina and his home with uh, uh, Up Next. Y'all love him. Great guitar playing on that, too, man. I love listening to Chris play. Yeah, um, Crush it. You're a great musician. Chris, I'm so great I, I, I hear Levi play, so I'd feel like I'm nothing because he's just such a tender little guy. <laughs> oh, dude, but I'm great. I'm, I'm glad that me. I'm passing okay, you know. Shoot. Oh, you're crushing it, dude. You're 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 tasty, buddy. So what you, what you go play for us, man? What what do you got for the people out there watching? We got Layla said uh, Layla real quick. Wyatt said live live that song with my son back and forth between me and his father in the line. It was a pleasure of my life. Destroys me so perfectly sung and written. Hmm. So that's Layla. We'll dedicate Thank that you, one to Layla. you from Wyatt. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you meet said, Wyatt's kid too, you'll you'll get the song even more because he's the coolest freaking eighteen year old dude I've ever met. I was telling Wyatt today. I was like, if I was his age. He would not give me the time of day. The kid's just too damn cool. He's just the coolest dude. He's got a calming presence, you know? Yeah, man. He did good. Lucky man, lucky man. All right, what do you want, Kevin? Um, I actually do have a request that I would like to ask for. I'll hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually, um, I, I honestly love your version of Love Me or Leave Me Alone, that mm-hmm. Dustin Lynch cut. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, yeah, so I actually, uh, this is a song I wrote. I don't know if any of you guys out there heard Parked Out by the Lake, which is a really viral um, oh, yeah. kind of a joke. Yeah. It's inside joke that turned into like a billion stream uh, joke. And the guy that wrote, I wrote, that wrote it, his name is Dustin Christensen. Uh, he got all kinds of... Um, fame and accolades and recognition from it um and it kind of sucks in a way because this guy dustin uh, is one of the best songwriters i've ever met he's just the most talented special loving caring guy and uh i really encourage you to look into dustin's last couple records he's just uh, he's kind of a low-key hero of mine so uh, it was a pleasure to write this song with him i wrote it in an hour i thought it sucked uh i turned it turned it into my publisher and it was cut within two weeks and it went to radio for one day and then the label changed their mind so uh, maybe I'll put it out one day I don't know but it's called Love Me or Leave Me Alone this one goes out to Kevin Mack with a capital C (laughs) and I will mention I got a record coming out pretty soon and I did it down uh, at Fame in Muscle Shoals where all that good music came from back in the 60s and 70s and uh, it was one of the last projects uh, I think Rick Hall was involved in and I hope to release it one of these days but I just got to get it perfect because uh, a lot of people say you don't you don't finish a record you just give up and I think that's a load of bullshit <laughs> I've been holding this in since the very first kiss And I've been losing my mind 
trying to keep up like this But we both know that there comes a time And I hate to sound harsh or unkind But love me, leave me alone Hold me or oh, just let me go Cause I felt this fire for so long So baby love me, love me Love me or leave me alone If we're just playing along We're just playing ourselves I don't want you to run away to somebody else. Cause there's magic between you and I. And I hate this impatience of mine. But love me, leave me alone. Hold me or oh, just let me go Cause I felt this fire for so long So baby love me, love me Love me or oh, leave me alone I know everybody agrees with me. You need to record that and put it out, bro. Come on, dude. It's recorded. It just ain't perfect yet. Yeah. Christy. Well, I hope you. Man. I hope you get it perfect because that thing is a. You sing the hell out of it, brother. Great job. Hey, Buddha, you. did you say that Rick Hall was involved with that record? Yeah. Well, Rodney brought me down to do a record at Fame, who's Rick Hall's son. I'm right. sure you know Rodney. Uh-huh. And uh, we had Spooner Oldham on it, and uh, David Hood, and a couple other dudes. And, Man, uh, that's awesome. I mean, that's 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 music royalty right there. Yeah, it is right oh, yeah. there. I was honored right. to do it, and Rick just popped in to see what was happening in his studio. You know, it was the last in the last year or two of his life, mm-hmm. and he just kind of came in there and started kind of offering up uh, little tidbits of information that he thought would would uh, help the songs in terms of the arrangements and uh, you know who's playing too much and who's not playing enough, and it it was just the best nudge ever. You know, because mm-hmm. he's just the best producer ever you know kind of see how the ma- a master orchestrates things huh yeah, yeah but he was also a nice guy and yeah, right. uh, a great guy maybe the greatest guy and <laughs> many people say i'm the greatest uh <laughs> sorry <laughs> is that your joe biden impression? yeah yeah <laughs> anyway moving oh, on man. <laughs> yeah and, and you know talking about you know we're talking about muscle shoals that i did i remember uh my record I did, I wrote it with Wyatt and Keith Gall. We did it. He, I, I'll never forget the day he was like, hey, man, we're going to go in and start cutting. And he's like, we're going to do it at Fame Studios. And we went down there, man, and I had David Hood playing bass, one of the original Swampers. And I remember just like 
just fanboying. And he was like, I was looking at, you know, when you go in, you see those, they got pictures on the wall in Fame Studios in Alabama of everyone who recorded. They did Mustang Sally. Well, Dwayne Allman. You know, just places, you know. Yeah. The Allman. The Southern Rock was born Sam there. Cook. That's what, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sam Cooke, Aretha Franklin, like the Rolling Stones. And this is a place in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. And if you listen to Sweet Home Alabama, they say Muscle Shoals has got the Swampers. They've been known to pick a song or two. And I'm like, I got one of the Swampers playing on my record. And, and, and he, he's right. When you walk in, man, it's like if there's a certain mojo there. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to call BS on it until we started recording. I'm like, oh. It, it's a real thing, man. So and anybody, Chris, anybody can visit there, it too. Anybody can go there and yeah. see the studio. And if you're yeah. going, if you're ever in Nashville yep. and you're doing the whole Nashville or the Graceland thing, a lot of people don't yep. realize Muscle Shoals is only two and a half hours um, south of yep. Nashville, and the Marriott there is maybe the it's greatest amazing. Marriott in the history of Marriotts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go down to Swampers, get you a piece of salmon, and listen to some good old Alabama country music, boy. But that, you know, I can't wait for that record to come out, y'all. Keep an eye out for that. I know Chris will let us know when that's coming out, and we'll let everybody know. And uh, you can go to sleep and put it and stream it uh, nonstop. And just mute it and stream Sleepify. it. Sleepify. So, so we call it. Sleepify. <laughs> Sleepify. There you go. It, you should get that. It's a new app. It. Listen, it's a free way to support somebody. If a song is three minutes long, that means you can play it. Help me with the math here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of somebody, I'm gonna, I, I want to stream, my boy McD Squared, my cousin, my brother from another cousin. mother, my, my 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 bearded brother, <laughs> Mr. Paul McDonald. Um, w Paul, we got a lot of people commenting here saying how much they're they're loving listening to you, man, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you're gonna play for us next, buddy. What you got? See, so, uh, you guys were talking about Muscle Shoals, and I and I, I've I've yet to cut a full length record down there, but uh, but. On this last run, you mentioned that I went out with uh, the guys in, from Hanson. They just cut their their newest record down there, and I went wow. down just to visit to see what they were doing. And uh, uh, a box of wine later, uh, I started showing them a handful of new songs I had written, and uh, and we ended up recording this one uh, together late night. So I don't know exactly when this one will come out, but uh, this was recorded down in Muscle Shoals of Fame Studios as well. And uh, the idea behind is this going to be a, is. What? Is this gonna be a Paul McDonald feature in Hanson? I think that would be how it would yeah it would go out. Uh, I mean I'm 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 I've yet to decide yet, but uh, but it's pretty cool. We had Craig Alvin engineering the uh, the record down there, and uh, and their harmonies are phenomenal. So it was just something that kind of oh, yeah. out of left field where I was like, wow, I didn't expect for this to happen, and and yeah, their harmonies are, are a superpower, and it just kind of lifted it to the next level. But um. This song was just kind of a, a, a tune I, I threw together about a bartender who works at a spot uh, in East Nashville. Uh, we had a conversation about how she and she hated the Beatles and loved the Rolling Stones and gave me yeah, enough one-liners for me to, to piece this thing together. But uh, yeah, this is a song called Amy. There's a girl who works down at Dukes who wears high-waisted jeans and got no tattoos. She's always talking about rock and roll. She hates on the Beatles, but she's loving the Stones. And hot damn, she's a sight to see if you can catch her in that bootleg ride, Stuart T. It's like she's channeling Chevy Covey, storming up a stage while she's serving me drinks. And me, darling, you're the one I need. You hear me, darling, you're the one I need When I'm down on my luck and I need a drink You get me high on love You get me high on love Hey, me, darling, you're the one I need Hey, me, darling Yeah, yeah I see the singer of the ballroom blitz She can take out a room the swing of her hips Love my rockers and a disco band A gold telecaster strapped around her back Good guy, she looking cool as hell Probably pays for her drugs with two dollar bills Yeah, I'm just sitting here drinking champagne Toasting this girl that's still don't know my name, babe Yeah, you hear me, darling, you're the one I need yeah, Down on my luck and I need a drink. You get me high on love. 
You get me high on love Amy, darling, you're the one I need Amy, darling I know I might not be a tape If I like Lucy with diamonds Lucy in the sky with diamonds Just let me be a dream for the night Oh, oh, just let me be a dreamer for the night. Oh, 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 just let me be a dreamer for the night. You hate me, darling, you're the one I need. You hate me, darling, you're the one I need. When I'm down on my luck and I need a drink, you get me high on love. You get me high on love. You get me high on love, high on love, high on love. You hate me, darling, you're the one I need. Hate me, darling, yeah. Hate me, darling, yeah. Hey, hey. It's a girl who works down at Duke. The wears high waisted jeans and got no tattoos. She's always talking about rock and roll. Yeah, she hates on the Beatles, but she's loving the Stones. Big old hit. Yeah, man. Big old hit. Thanks. Big old hit. Big old hit. Just so, just so you guys know, I'm a mega fan of of all the other uh, all, all you all you guys. And this is like. I used to cover Adam's songs when I first started my band in High Tide Blues. Uh, like back in Auburn, we're in the same spot, and it's just like, all oh, you guys are bad to the bone. Thanks for inviting me into this world for real, man. It's like, it's well, an you, honor. You ain't got to thank us. Thank, thank you for being here. Thank you and Adam and Wyatt and, and Buddha. It's just, you know, the thing about it, man, I was telling somebody today, I said, man, songwriting ain't nothing but friends hanging out and coming up with you trying to focus their adhd i said that's all it is that's right. and i no said jokes. that's all it is man we're just hanging out and you know writing great stuff like that song you just played man oh, and bro. i do i love that when you came into the beatles part there dude well like, yeah, i can't wait to hear that that was a, that was a, a our buddy david borne was like why don't you do that that's probably the coolest part of the song probably because borne came up with it man but yeah that was uh who knows? that was dope it stuck out man right it was on. awesome Sick, brother. Thanks, Well, brother. that was Paul McDonald, y'all. He's got music out. Got vinyls, too. Can people still... I remember when we were talking, you were putting your vinyls together. Can people still order vinyls oh, yeah, from yeah, you, yeah, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I got all the, all that kind of stuff on the web store. Vinyls, posters, you know, all hats, whatever, all the stuff. So, yeah, it's up on, one thing y'all, on the website. One thing y'all don't know about Paul, you might not know, is he does all his own covers and stuff in his posters. Like, he's just a full-blown-out artist. Great songwriter and singer, but this guy, like... I remember we were sitting there, and you actually did my record cover that's for me. That's true, yeah, I, that's true, yeah. I, yeah that's I didn't interesting know who to hit up, and I hit up Paul. <laughs> Do what? Yeah, man, Paul. Yeah, I, yeah, for some reason, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I, I did it uh, out of, I mean, out of necessity, really. Over the years, I just was paying people so much money to do all this stuff, and I, and when you're paying for your own records, as you guys know, independent artists, it's like you don't have anybody. Uh, you know, you don't have an extra two or three grand to stu- to drop on album art, so I just learned how to do it, and uh, and since then I've had a handful of people reach out, uh, like you know, on occasion to, to do this stuff, even though I'm not like a, a graphic designer professionally, but uh, just You're recently. You're good at it, man. Well, thank you, brother. Thank you. I mean, it's just something I've learned to do, you know. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. Full, he he does everything, y'all. Oh, he'll thanks, he'll make your record, play it for you live, and do the art for you. He'll put yeah. his own sound system up. He does it. Drive the bus. That's Paul McDonald <laughs> right there, y'all. Thanks, man. And so we're going. You know, a lot of Alabama boys here. You're from Alabama, aren't you? Yeah, man. Yeah, from uh, from Huntsville originally, and then I went Golly. to yeah, went to school down in Auburn. That's how I, I became aware of Adam. We would always bumping each other in the same guitar shop down there. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. The yeah. Shop. Play the supper club together, always down there at the guitar yeah. shop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. Well, Adam, Adam, why don't you go ahead and play us something so me and Paul can sit here and fanboy out. Okay. You got a Bama boys or something about y'all, Shoot, man. My. It's all about them Georgia country boys. Mm. Alabama's coming up. They're going to let you know they're here, too. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that's, that's cool. It, man. man, I'm glad to know that you do graphic stuff, Paul, now that I'm about to put a record out. Mm. 
here's one I wrote this uh, back in 2010 with Chris Stapleton back before uh, the Traveler record. This was, mm-hmm. it was on a little Big Town's Tornado record, so it was probably one of the first, mm-hmm. like, real, one of the, yeah, I'd say one of the first real cuts I had. This is called Front Porch Thing. Work's been slow, money's been tight, but that's all right, honey, that's all right. But sometimes she won't, yeah, but sometimes she will. And when she do what she do, it's a doggone thrill. The Lord of willing and the creek don't rise, my baby's got a song to sing. Oh, while the creek gets and the train will so harmonize. Doing that front porch thing Hanging and banging out a feel-good tune Strumming on my old six string Well, Lord, it sure can kill these country blues Doing that front porch thing And the moon comes up We sit down and the chains start creaking, making swinging sounds And we fall in love all over again I Having so much fun, it ought to be a sin The good laws are winning and the creek don't rise My baby's got a song to sing While the crickets and the train were so harmonized Doing that front porch thing Clanging and banging out a feel good tune, strumming on my old six string. Well, Lord, it sure can kill these country blues, doing that front porch thing. If the good laws are willing and the creek don't rise, then my baby's got a song to sing. While the crickets and the train will so harmonize Doing that front porch thing Clanging and a banging out a feel good tune Strumming on my old six train Well, Lord, it sure can kill these country blues Doing that front porch thing Doing that front porch thing Doing that front porch thing Get on it, son. Come on, <laughs> thank y'all. So good, That's awesome, man. That's awesome, y'all. Well, thank y'all so much. I'm, I second everybody's opinion on it, man. It's, we we've, for this to be my first time on here, uh, I've, I've known everybody for a long, a long time. Wyatt, I mean, I think Wyatt was booking my band in Atlanta before Zach's record even came That's out. And crazy. Chris and I have known yeah, him man. since he's been in Nashville. So. It's really an honor and a privilege to be here at this this place with you guys. So I'm I love it. I'm really thankful. Oh, oh thank you for the playing for us, man, and letting the people hear you. Um, we got people. Someone, someone just said you said you wrote that with uh, Chris Stapleton. I did. Yeah, I wrote that back with Never Chris. Heard of him. Um, be- well, uh, of course, like I said, a couple of years before the Traveler record came out, that was uh, 2010. I just That's also want to point out. Man. I want to also point out that when. Uh, I was a new guy in Nashville, and nobody gave a shit or knew who I was. Uh, Adam wrote with me, and I think that that's... Of course. Speaks volumes. Oh, man. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, Chris, you're a pretty talented guy, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I definitely, you know. Chris, I mean, is, the way Chris talks, we might need to have an intervention with him. Because you are... He's like, well, I'm not that. Come on, Eeyore. You know you're there, good, There's a Chris. series Come of on, interventions man. necessary, but let's talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start calling you Eeyore. Uh, I wanted to mention that in, in Rick's studio, uh, Otis Redding's Gibson J45 is still sitting in there, too. Wow. Is wow. that his J45? Otis Redding's from 1971. Sheesh. That's nuts. Yeah, that's the crazy. things you learn. Dude, I've played on that guitar so many times. I'm like, man, I wonder if they'd sell this thing. This is such a great guitar. <laughs> and you can't forget the green, the green carpeting, either. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. They haven't changed a thing, dude. I went in there, and David Hood, there's a picture of Little Richard 
Oh, sitting yeah. up there, and he's leaning on a subwoofer. And David Hood was sitting there playing bass next to the subwoofer, and he said, "He, I said, man, is that the same subwoofer Little Richard took his picture with? And he said, yeah, they ain't moved that thing since 1963. Wow. <laughs> it's just sitting there with an uh, inch thick of dust on it. But that's where the mojo is, man. I mean, I tell you, it's if you like, like Buddha said, man, if you get the chance to come to Nashville and visit, take a two-hour drive and go down and tour Fame Studio or just go and, straight and to just it. go straight to Florence or Muscle Shoals and just do yeah, that because yeah, there's two there, yeah, there's there really is, two I mean, studios I mean, there's the Lincoln Highway Studio yeah. there's the Muscle Shoals Sound which was uh, just revamped by Dr. Dre and they have Chet Atkins soundboard in there and it still has the ring on the API soundboard from where he used to put his Coke bottle when he would do records so there's so it, really? there's oh. just as much history there as you would get if you went to you know, a Civil War memorial or something else. As far as yeah. music goes, you really and, can't beat it. Yeah, Florence is a Dude, beautiful place. And the place biggest too, man. thing that surprised me down there was at the the one place where Skinner did their record, where the Swampers bought their studio. How small it was. Yeah, you know, it's, it's janky. Not that it's big janky at all. Too. It was just the talent. It, it, yeah. it really. It helps to have a studio. Yep. You know, everybody makes records in their bedroom, but th- there's something about that river. There's something about the energy of that mm-hmm. water that just made something happen, and it's still happening there today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and listen, we've been giving the people, listen, y'all watching at home, we've been giving you a big old history lesson on Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Do yourself a favor. There's a documentary out. We'll, y'all watch that. Check it out and get back to us. Last week was the South Carolina special. As you can tell right now, it's the Alabama special of Southern Rounds. Mm-hmm. We got these Alabama boys, and that's what we've been doing. So we're going to, speaking of South Carolina, take it to Wyatt, Mr. Wyatt Durrett. Hey, um, hey. You still, y'all, have y'all ain't, y'all ain't, fell over from heat exhaustion have you Y'all well I, okay? I talked to my girlfriend and she told us that uh i'm looking down too much so just so that everybody out there knows we have this little baby webcam the size of like a cheerio this is a song that uh we wrote what two months ago or something like that yeah like a month and a half ago and uh he called me with the idea a lot of times you know everybody has their different ways of writing but buddha usually if i'm gonna write with him there's usually two three days before where he'll call with an idea or something like just a Plan and when it, you don't plan it in your head, so you know you like start thinking about something. But and when you don't respond, sometimes you miss out too. And that happened. <laughs> happened this actually, week. it did. <laughs> Took him a day to text me. I said, "Sorry, buddy, you already wrote." Already it. wrote it. <laughs> Literally, twenty four hours. I waited twenty four hours to text back, and I missed the song. But uh, I didn't miss this song. And um, thank God. I just love it. We've actually never played it before, so who knows what's going to happen right now? Like played it together, where I'm the guy singing, and he's the guy playing. But uh, I just love the song, man. And uh, sometimes you just know they're special and you get it right but uh this one's just about uh the one you love i guess the best way to describe it but uh i hope we got the key right Mm -hmm. if we have to start (laughs) over that's right please forgive us watching you get ready from the look you gave me think it's safe to say it's gonna be wild we're running late sometimes i get impatient the rushing news the last thing on my mind especially when you wreck me with that smile take your time no need to hurry, baby, I don't mind The world can wait, it's gonna be alright Long as I got you by my side Think about it It takes a million years to move a mountain So tell me what's the only waited my whole life for you made it to the party there's people all around me but the only one I want to see is you it's almost time to go standing in the doorway just watching you still lighting Just doing what you do So take your time No need to hurry, baby I don't mind The 
broken way it's gonna be all right long as i got you by my side baby think about it it takes a million years to move a mountain so tell me what's another Only waited my whole life for you. What are the chances of finding a diamond? You know I won't take it for granted. Cause we got forever to go, so take your time. No need to hurry, baby. I don't mind. The world can wait, it's gone. All right, long as I got you by my side, baby, think about it. it takes a million years to move a mountain, so tell me what's another meaning or two. I only waited my whole life. Make it worth it like you always do. I only waited my whole life for you. My whole life for you. Good job. We've never done that before and we didn't rehearse it, so that pretty much went as well as possible. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's beautiful, man. Thanks, man. Beautiful, beautiful song, beautiful lyric, beautiful guitar playing Eeyore. You crushed it, man. <laughs> Nobody loves me. I'm so physically Great hot. Playing. I got I got people saying to me, I got pe- my buddy, I, I got a buddy watching from Virginia Beach. He built this little D this D twenty eight I'm playing. He's a he's a custom builder. And is is uh is is Buddha playing your uh Colin yeah, Wyatt? He is. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> and I told him I said I said that I think that's why it's Collins. It's literally the best guitar I've ever played. Well Collins are just the, keeps texting. They're the best. And for anybody out there that's like a guitar collector, buy them now because Jim yeah. Collins died. I, yeah. So this Dude, this that is one the end that, of the road. that you're playing right now, yeah. Buddha, is a cannon. It is a it's probably the best guitar. You're making the thing sing, it's, man. It's a it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's an 870, really. It's just a it's shotgun of melody, man. man. It's, mm, well, uh, melody out for me. There's certain buddy. times of day when Wyatt's Buddha? not comfortable with people picking it up. It's just kind of, yeah, it's a certain time of night we so. put that one away for sure. But yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna do a song I wrote with Wyatt actually, and uh, Django. Is it just me, you, and Django? Which one? Love House of Cards. Loud. House of Cards. Yeah, me, you, and Django. So we do these uh, these gigs, well, when there wasn't a giant pandemic around the world and everybody wasn't crippled with fear, we used to play gigs. And back in the gig days, uh, <laughs> me and Paul and uh, Kevin, a lot of the people you'll see on these Southern Rounds do these gigs. And uh, we really try to write as hard as we can, but we're also so relieved to be off Music Row and not having to write every minute of the day. So sometimes we just don't really get a lot done, but this was the one time in the Bahamas I think we all... Uh, got focused and wrote a classic and uh, the only thing bittersweet about it is that I wrote this uh, a month after Rick Hall died and I just wish he would have been around when I was cutting this because he would have he would have been the guy you know yeah man uh, but this goes out to Rick and uh, Rodney Hall who's a big supporter and a good friend of me and uh, down in Muscle Shoals and I uh, hope uh, he's doing all right this goes out to uh, anybody who's ever struggled with a breakup before. It's called House of Cards. Just when I think I got missing you all figured out Just when I think it's the right time to let my guard down 
I run into some of your friends And they're all asking me how I've been I tell them I'm doing just fine But I know that's a lie Cause I'm just their house of cards About to fall down Right at the camera I'm just a house of cards About to fall down be fooled by that smile that you see cause it's painted on me like a clown and if she came breezing in you'd figure it out that I'm just a house of cars about to fall down oh she won't be getting those two a.m. texts anymore uh -uh. She won't find me in the night on my knees at her door Cause I, she told me she needed some time And it ain't like she ain't on my mind I'm just doing my best with this head I've been trying to hide But I'm just a house of cars about to fall down I'm just a house of cars about to fall down Oh, don't be fooled by that smile that you see Cause it's painted on me like a clown And if she came breezing in You'd figure it out That I'm just a house of cars About to fall down This is where the guitar solo would usually be So don't be fooled by that smile that you see Cause it's painted on me like a clown And if she came breezing in You'd figure it out That I'm just a house that comes about To fall down, fall down, fall down and just a house of cards about to fall down, fall down, fall down. I'm just a house of cards about to fall down, fall down. I'm just a house of cards about to fall down. Fine, Casey Kates, 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 a little House song called House of Cards. <laughs> about to fall down. <laughs> Yo, that's Buddha. I love that Thanks, song, buddy. man. It's so good. Yeah, You're man. Sick. Did you, is that one on your record? Yeah. Uh, t TBD. TBD. All right. All right. Thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Buddha. Buddha, gonna la he lays it down for you every time, man. Beautiful. I love the guitars. He's like, this is where the guitar... Do don't you notice how Chris was like, this is where the guitar solo is supposed to be. And then he just starts burning it down. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, all right, here goes Eeyore again. <laughs> it's like, it's so good, man. It's like, man, like you could just... I I'm, and I'm honestly thinking this, man. I mean, you're a friend of mine, but I just, I'll tell you the truth. I'd love... Just listen to you and your guitar hey, doing, man. man. Well, like, you've obviously just, never... You've like, never seen fish in its shows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always see it on your Instagram. I see fish all the time on your. Well, Instagram. we used to when they were. But, uh, we used to go places. Remember places back in the good old days, kids, when we used to be able to go see live music. Places and people. But um, <laughs> man, that's Chris Gal Beauty, y'all. Again, he's got some music getting ready to come out when he's TBD'd. Um, so y'all gonna make sure we're gonna we're gonna make sure everybody knows that we're gonna make sure everybody knows when Adam's music comes out and when Paul's comes out. Everyone who's a part of this, uh, Wyatt is also he's in a group called Yesterday's Wine with our friend Levi Lowry. Um, people who have come here and seen Southern Rounds, you've seen them play together. Uh, he's a tremendous. I'm actually writing with Mr. Levi tomorrow nice. and get, gonna get to see him through Zoom. 
So that'll be nice. And um, But thank you again if you, this is your first time. This is Southern Rounds. Southern Rounds is just a place where songwriters come every Wednesday at 8 p.m. And, uh, Eastern time and get together and play you some songs. You know, we we know people out there are wanting to see it, and we're wanting to play it. And so we just want to thank you for joining us on Southern Rounds and giving us an outlet to play some music for y'all because we're still writing and we're still getting after it, and it's nice to have an outlet. Yeah. Um, and, again, it's every Wednesday, so if you want to put it in your calendar at 8 p.m., you can, well, we usually announce the next sket, the next lineup, in a, you know, one the next day of the day. You know, today's Wednesday through Thursday or Friday. You'll know who's playing next Wednesday. So you can always join us. I'll always be here. I'm your host, Kevin Mack. And uh, we're going to keep the show going with uh, Mr. Paul McDonald here in Nashville, Tennessee. Paul, how you doing, man? You, you, you enjoying the show tonight? I'm doing great. Yeah, this is this is amazing, man. It's fun. It's fun hearing all these songs and, uh, yeah, just being a part of it. It, it feel it just feels it feels like we're doing it again, man. It feels like we're slowly tiptoeing, uh, you know, sliding back in there, sliding back in, man. So uh, keeping our chops up. So what are you gonna do for us, buddy? So uh, yeah, by your request, uh, an up tempo song. So uh, I was trying to think of something that I I could pull out. This was a tune that I wrote with. Uh, <clears throat> we went down to this this studio called Sonic Ranch. Uh, I think it's in maybe New Mexico or Texas. It's right close to the the. Uh, Mexic Mexico border. El Paso. El Paso. Yes, El Paso is that what it's yeah. uh, You been there, Chris? Gabriel, you been there? I think. Uh, he went sorry, my mic was muted. Yes. Uh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Well, we, we did like a week. Uh, it's awesome, and they got. Uh, it's pretty much an in-house uh, spot where you can you can house you know ten people, and they feed you amazing breakfast burritos and green chili and all this stuff. But I went down there and I wrote with a handful of kind of eclectic folks. It was uh, um, this this song I wrote with a girl named Skylar Stone Street, who's a big uh, pop songwriter out in Los Angeles who's got a bunch of hits with Dua Lipa and uh, Justin Bieber and that kind of stuff. And then also a buddy of mine who lives in Nashville now uh, named J.D. McPherson, who's a brilliant artist uh, in his own right. So this one's kind of all over the place, but uh, it's a song called Renegades and it's up tempo. So here you go, Kevin. <laughs> My eyes were closed for most of the ride. I crossed over the borderline and I don't know where. I'm going, but I'll try. Uh -huh. And I wasn't brave to waste my time, biting my tongue, forcing a smile, and my hands are tied and broken. But I won't lie, I won't lie. Well, I'm not afraid of never change. It's in my blood, it's in my veins. And the walls will break, the earth will shake. You and I, we're in a gate, and we always will be, babe. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I've been throwing darts at a dollar bill Stapled to a wall of a cheap motel And my pockets might be full of lead But I'm rich in other ways, babe yeah, I'm not afraid, I'll never change I will be very oh, 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 o
to waste my time But I crossed over the borderline And I'm not afraid Yeah, I'm not afraid I'll never change It's in my blood It's in my veins And the walls will break The earth will shake You and I and gates and we always will be baby Paul McDonald, everybody, on Southern Rounds. Bob just commented and said, such a great show, such a great song, Paul. Loving yeah, it. Thanks, brother. Judy, Judy Nana. Her name, Judy Nana. <laughs> Judy said, nah, nah. Oh, nah, Judy. Nah, that's that's Judy from, we played a gig in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, which is a very small town, but we played it. <laughs> Judy owns a venue up there. Uh, she's She books all kinds of cool indie artists. So, Judy, much love. Thanks for tuning in. See, so so Paul knew who Judy Na Na is. Nawa. Is that her last name? Na Na. She like Judy. You ain't Na Na Na. I think it's N A W A. N A Na Nawa, I believe. Right? Oh, I'm like Na Na. Oh, Judy, don't kill me, honey. It's been a long day. Nawa, uh, Judy Nawa. <laughs> <laughs> Missing live music. Thank you for sharing, Paul. Yeah, Such brother. amazing talent. Oh, thanks, Judy, thank you so much for joining us on Southern Rounds. And, and Paul, I know she's watching because you promoted it and let her know where you were, buddy. So yes, thank you so much up in Pennsylvania. And uh, we got Rifle Road Ranger saying this is such a good show. Thank you all. And um, people are tipping. And just we appreciate y'all's tips and, um, and, and joining us here on Southern Rounds. And I'd like to dedicate this whole show to Judy. Judy. This whole Southern Round show is for you up in Pennsylvania. Thank you so much, honey, for joining. And let's keep going. Mr. Adam Hood, are you still with me, man? No, no. No, no. No, no, wall. No, wall. That could be a good band it name, would. no, wall. It would. Yeah, we should. you should do that, Paul. You should be Paul McDonald and the no, wall. I mean, I mean, we, we already got one band, the McD Squared. I mean, we could just, we got... <laughs> We're we gonna have skillets <laughs> for that band too. <laughs> yeah, we can have. Hey, dude, I'm it, you. I'm growing. I, if you look on my Instagram, I have a baby mullet. It's my project over COVID, I need to look and at I just I, I, you look at it, it's just a little baby mullet. But give it about six months, and I'll have maybe a, a teenager it's mullet. Be full, check bro, it out. Yeah. But, oh yeah, but Mr. Adam Hood, man, what you got for us, brother? People are enjoying you. They're commenting um, and saying they're loving your music and your guitar playing. Man, I think we got a lot yeah. of guitar enthusiasts here watching today so it's great to have some great players well all you guys are great pickers that's so. a high compliment thank you it's it, it was kind of my first love it's probably the weakest link in, in in what i do but it's the thing that i i, I didn't i i started writing a little later and then never really wanted to sing in front of anybody and so i always wanted to be a guitar player and then you know just life happened you are. i had kids and man i had to put that guitar down you know man. All right. oh i hear you man i heard you. uh let's see i'll do this one this was called real small town this is a real small town full of real fine folks who fell on real hard times when the boom went broke. And they work real hard and they pray real loud cause there's a real big heart in this real small town. The cost of living it may shift just like sand, but on my grandfather's land, it's been steady as his hand I used to hold. When we go out and check the cows, and that's where he taught me how to make my living from the ground, and I don't intend to let him down. Cause this is a real small town full of real fine folks who fell on a real hard times when the boom went broke and they work real hard and they pray real loud cause there's a real big heart in this real small town and every Sunday 
I start the week off getting right. I get direction for my life at the downtown Church of Christ next to the courthouse where they decorate the grass with 57 flags for the lives we won't get back. And I don't intend to forget the past. Cause this is a real small town full of a real fine folks who fell on a real hard times when the boom went broke. And they work real hard and they pray real loud. Cause there's a real big heart in this real small town. In my younger days, oh, how times change. This is a real small town full of real fine folks who fell on real hard times when the boom went broke. And they work real hard and they pray real loud because there's a real big heart this real small town yeah there's a real big heart in this real small town that was awesome dude. thanks y'all thank you man. wow i appreciate it killer thank y'all Man, that is awesome. That, who'd you write that with? I wrote that with a William Clark Green, who's a, a, a Texas songwriter yeah. fella. He plays in Nashville a lot. Really great, great guy, great musician, makes a lot of records. But yeah, I wrote it with Will. That's the only time he and I have ever written together. So good. Do it again. Ready? Here we go. One y'all more time. Need, <laughs> yeah, y'all need you need to call y'all need to keep writing together, man. That was great, dude. What a picture. You know, people listening at home, if you know the, the craft of songwriting, what everyone what we try to do is put you there, man, and put you you know, and that's what you just did. You put everyone watching in that little small town. Man, thank you, you for know, saying that. I feel like it's kind of, you know, those. It's 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 the front of our minds, but I worry sometimes that it's it's a lost art. You know what I mean? That that just the the attention to detail that we concern ourselves with. I I, I worry that 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 it'll lose itself in the populace. And so I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that. I appreciate it. Well, man, I ain't, uh, like I said, like I, I just speak the truth, and it's like when I like the one verse in there. I mean. That caught that caught my ear was you know when what, what was the line when you go you, you get your direction at the Church of Christ yeah. and then and, and and the right next to the courthouse where they decorate the grass you know I was wondering where you're going there and they decorate the grass with the 51 flags yeah. I believe that's the number you yeah. said and I, I'm just like man dude you stuck me in that small town the record's called somewhere in between I, we cut it at a sound emporium about it's I guess it's been out about two years two like, in fact two years mm-hmm. next okay. month. So yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's out there. I'll be getting that when I get off here, man. That's great. That's I love that song, man. Great song, man. Um, everyone, thank you again for joining Southern Rounds. Richard saying you're filling our hearts tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, well, thank you for joining us, Richard and Layla. As we, they're up in New England. Just they said, as we say here, <laughs> wicked, in New awesome. England, wicked awesome. So Who's thank you, Layla. Glad you're you listening. Wicked awesome. Wicked awesome. You know. <laughs> Layla, you know, really what Southern Rounds is is just a real excuse for you to see that hillbilly. <laughs> no, 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 we're wrong, wrong. So you can just join really us every Wednesday Really smart, intelligent p.m. people can sing some hillbilly Except shit. Except for Buddha, as difference. you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Eeyore. Let's keep going on hey, listen, with the show. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell the crowd about you when it's my turn. You get Mr. Ready Wyatt about Durant. Shit, okay? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Are we gonna Lord. do that thing? Oh, uh, why? What you got yeah. for us, buddy? Let's take right, can this I thing. Tell Let's them take what this. What we're doing right now here in one Iowa more Paul. trip around Is the sun, good? boys. Let's do one so, more round uh, for everybody. To say why it is an eclectic guy would be a, uh, an egregious understatement. But we're actually out here uh, writing songs uh, with Rome from Sublime and Duddy from the Dirty Heads, and uh, these guys have been around the world playing their reggae music, and uh, incredible guys. You've written some great songs. But one of my favorite uh, Rastafari vibe songs of all time is what Wyatt just called just now. We haven't played it in two, two or three years, so I yes, hope it goes all right. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Ja Maid. So Ja is the Rastafari name for, for God. Jehovah. And, um, and uh, basically this song is it's one of the first songs that Zach Brown and I ever wrote. 
Um, I'm four, yeah, date myself. I'm probably 22, 23 years old. But we, so we wrote this song, and it was just one of those songs. It's 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 a story of a father and a son from a fa- from a son's birth to a father's death. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I like father son songs. I like writing them. But uh, that's what this song is, man. And it's um it's just kind of uh, yeah, it's a story of a father and a son. And if Bob Marley was alive, this would be a Bob Marley cut. There's no way around it. All right, we got to get you on the actual mic. Yeah, there we go. Yes. So we're going to go. We're going to go down Jamaica way. And I really apologize if you're catching any uh, odiferous vibes from me in this 80-degree room. I'm used to it. It's good. I'm just kidding. We're having a good time, just so you know. We're just uh, a little shrimpy up in this oil. Here we go. Shrimpy up in this oil. I love well, that. Well, first I'm looking. If you wonder why I keep looking to the left, it's because Wyatt has about five degrees of more of a suntan than me, and I look like freaking powder up here with long hair. But who cares? I, I live at the beach, boy. He does live at the I beach, live at the the beach boy. But he doesn't take his shirt off. He's literally this tan just from existing in the sun. It's a difference. He's not laying out with goggles on. He's just kissed by the sun, just like his music. It's anyway, just in the rum, baby. It's in the rum. <laughs> here we go. No wait. Yep. Little boy sitting on his daddy's knee. Say it again. Little boy sitting on his daddy's knee. Little boy sitting. Ah, right, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, two years, folks. Trial by fire, man. Little boy sitting on his daddy's knee In a circle full of drums and harmony His mother kneeled down and say My son, do you know why you are here today? And his daddy said Jean made these drums for you To play with your heart and soul, let the music carry you through. Jean made these drums for you. Jean made these drums for you. Just a few years down the road. The same boy is old enough to help his father carry the load. On a boat, they will fish all day. That boy get frustrated, so his daddy say, Jean made these things for you. The sky above and the ocean blue. Jean made these things for you. I made these things for you. Well, he comes to his dad with tears in his eyes. Said, so now she is gone, and I don't know why. I gave her three good years of my life. Should I run away or swallow my pride? I made this pain for you. Now you are grown, so you shall choose what you shall do. She made this pain for you. She made this pain for you. Make it talk. Faithful son, right by his side. Said, Now you are gone, and I will have no one. 
But in his last breath he said, please tell your son. Jean made this life for you. You can do anything that you want to do. Jean made this life for you. Jean made this life for you. And you, and you. Hell yeah, brother. Thanks, man. Well, man, even though we're not in front of anybody, the, the chat room's lighting up, man, with Jimmy saying, uh, everyone's saying yeah. the same it's a thing. a good song. That's a really good song. It's wow, good what song. a great song. So it's it's awesome, man. D- dude, why you got a cadence, man. Like, I, one of my, if y'all check this out, it's, it's a video of Wyatt. If you look up Zach Brown Band, Wyatt in Bristol, Virginia, Wyatt, there's a video out, and he was doing Volcano. Zach Brown was doing Volcano, and you come out, and start out of nowhere, side stage, and just crush the reggae part, and just walk to the edge of the. St- and it was like, what in the world, man? And you, no, there's a you little know, yeah, Rasta. You write great country songs, but then you jump Actually, over here, and it's like beastly you own lion, it. yeah. There really is, man. You should do that one. Two, you should do that DNA See, one. See, I don't do that because I'm going to find out my entire heritage is a lie. I, I think you might that. be have a little bit coming from yeah, Jamaica. I'm, I've always been a big fan of country. Grew up on country bluegrass, <laughs> man. But in my early teens, like, I really grabbed a hold of reggae, and, and all, it is a lot of the cadence stuff, like the way the the way the words move and cutting off words, and like it's like there's a way. The way the words kind of dance with the melody is the thing I like a lot. And you can't fake stuff. it either. You know what I mean? You can't fake it because you can hear it a mile away. Do you own it, man? You what the fresh, bro? hell am I going to play now? Yeah, what you got? What you crush you got? it, man. It's awesome. Now, but you know, Buddha, we had somebody ask a question. Somebody caught wind that you produced Megan Trainer, um, yeah, her hit what? song. I'm gonna. What, what like was I'm it called? It was her yeah. John Legend. I, I don't feel like I don't doing that tonight, though. My apologies. The I, song that. You don't have to do it, but people, uh, someone just asked, what, was, what like. was it like uh, working with Megan Trainer? After that, uh, I waited seven years to get a mattress. Uh, when I moved to Nashville, <laughs> my TV was on a chair that came with the house I moved into. And I told myself, uh, I'm not going to buy a real bed until I get a number one hit. And it's one of the few things I stuck to because I try these diets and the not smoking shit and it really doesn't work out. But <laughs> I literally slept on an air mattress with a feather topper for seven and a half <laughs> years. And uh, what what it's like to work with her is she's an enigma. There's nobody like her. And the, one of the weirder struggles of my life was people reaching out to me thinking that what I did with Megan, I could do for someone else. But... The difference was is that it, I didn't do anything yeah. really for Megan. It, I was just there to help her bring her ideas to fruition, and I'm, you know, forever grateful for that. But it had nothing to do with me. Uh, literally, when she comped the vocal, and that means like when you go and edit the vocals and put the BGVs background vocals where they're supposed to be, she's like, "Get out of here! I'm gonna do it myself." And she was like 18 years old, and she kicked me out of my own studio. Hmm. And uh, there's she's so talented. She's so talented that everybody around her becomes more talented. She's got her brothers yeah. on Christmas songs. And, like, uh, she lives in a, in a big house in the Hollywood Hills, which you would expect of a pop star. But her mom and dad and two brothers and several of her uh, relatives from Trinidad and Tobago uh, are often there. She takes care of her people. So it was an awesome experience. And, honestly, it saved my life because I was not uh, I was not doing too well in the music business until that happened. So I'm, I'm forever grateful to Megan. Yeah, man, that's a that's a great story too, and I love the aspect of you saying I wasn't going to buy a mattress until I got it. And uh, I know there's a, a thank, you. thank God you got it, man. I'm glad you're sleeping on a mattress nowadays, and um, and we love you. And we would like to also thank you, Jenna from Florida, for asking Florida. that question. Uh, she had asked that in the chat room for you, Chris. So, so thank you for a- uh, asking that question. Let's and bring it up on okay? Southern Rounds, Chris. So this is the last the song you got for the evening, buddy. So come on. I didn't write ninety percent of this song. Uh, but the guy who mentored me as I became a songwriter in Los Angeles when I really got my start, uh, a guy named Jeff Silbar, uh, he wrote The Wind Beneath My Wings, which is the third biggest song of all time behind uh, Happy Birthday and White Christmas. Jeez. 
And uh, I thought I was a hard worker until I used to go out to his house. The guy's like 70 years old. And, you know, we'd finished our third song. And he's like, on to the fourth, on to the fifth. And I got this, uh, you know, there's like a song of the century award over his piano. And this guy worked harder than I wanted to work, which is why I loved it. But he played me this song one day. And he's like, yeah, this is a song around the 80s, but it never blew up, you know. And um, I just tweaked a few lyrics and somehow they put my name on it. So I really don't claim this to be my song or my idea. Uh, but the way I play it, I feel like I kind of made it my own, and I, I think it's a great love song. So this is called I Know What I Got. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I got before it's gone. And that's why I'm holding on to all this love I have for you. You don't need to worry. If I ever do you wrong, darling, I know what I got for it's gone. All my friends are breaking up. All their hopes and dreams thrown away like a paper cup. Some old magazine Oh, there is this much I know is true Baby, that won't happen to me and me and you, baby Cause I know what I got before it's gone And that's why I'm holding on to all this love I have for you We do. That was Chris Kell Beauty, mm -hmm. y'all. The Buddha. Great job, man. Thank you so much for playing for us tonight, Chris. We're going to keep this boat rolling, boys. Mr. Paul McDonald. Cool. Let's do it. Paul, Adam, we're going to do a pick-pick pick pass. Wild card I'm picking it. Record. Pass it. Thanks what you got, Paul? Come on. Let's go. I don't know what you've been up to, but all my friends seem to think that they do, and they keep telling me things I'd rather not hear. So just be honest with me, I don't care. I need to hear it from your red lips right here. We're both too keen to do some kind of thing with our hands. You're darling, you're a wild card. You see, you love me, and you're wrecking my heart. So confusing in your heart to find But when you want some loving And you're right by my side You're darling, you're a wild card You see you love me But right now you're breaking my heart You're darling, you're a wild card and Yeah, you see that I should let you go But then you're reaching for my hand to hold on Say you don't want no company, but 
everything you bitch about sleeping alone yeah, you're hot, you're cold, you're never warm Yup, you're down, but you're always torn No more than nine of reasons to keep sticking around Darling, you're a wild card You say you love me, then you're wrecking my heart You're so confusing and you're hard to find But when you want some loving and you're right by my side Darling, you're a wild card See you love me, but right now you're breaking my heart. You're darling, you're a wild card. I got a feeling that you're never gonna slow it down. Well, I got a feeling that you aren't the type of girl to stick around. Well, I got a feeling if I say I love you now, you'll be on your way. Faster than I could even say Darling, you're a wild card You say you love me, then you're wrecking my heart You're so confusing and you're hard to find But when you want some loving, then you're right by my side You're darling, you're a wild card You say you love me, but right now you're breaking my heart You're darling, you're a wild card Darling, you're a wild card She's breaking my heart Quit breaking my heart I don't know what you've been up to But all my friends seem to think That they do They keep telling me things I'd rather not hear See you, too. Paul McDonald, Thanks y'all. That's me, great, guys. man. Great job, Paul. Thank you for joining us tonight, man. I love you, brother. Cheers. Bro. I'm, I know we're going to have you again, man. Welcome to the family, Paul. We, we love you, man. Great job playing. And This is a pick, pick, man, pass, God y'all. So, you Adam, Thank you're going to close so up tonight, man. What are you going to play for uh, us? This one's called the Tennessee Will since we're on the Alabama thing. <clears throat> Blind man's on an old upright right. piano. Lady in the red on a banjo land. Playing songs like old Susanna Getting slower with the gin I'll catch you right on a steamboat, baby I'll make it home with time to kill The Mississippi River won't carry me to you But I know that the Tennessee will Well, I never did believe in Memphis Really ever was the end of the line So I'm headed back to Alabama Where my heart's been all the time And I know it should be easy but it's hard to say goodbye Oh, still I I'll catch a ride on a steamboat, baby I'll make it home with time to kill The Mississippi River won't carry me to ya I know the Tennessee will Ooh, and I know it should be easy But it's hard to say goodbye All oh, still I Catch a ride on a steamboat, baby I'll make it home with time to kill The Mississippi River won't carry me to ya I know the Tennessee will It'll carry me home to you, baby I'll catch a ride on a steamboat, baby 
catch a ride on a steamboat, baby. <clears throat> Adam Hood, Thank catch a ride on a steamboat, baby. Thank Great job, brother. Thoroughly enjoyed it tonight, Adam. Great job, man. And and you too, Paul, Wyatt, Buddha. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us this Wednesday. And that's gonna wrap it up for Southern Rounds this Wednesday session. Guys, thank you so much. It was a it was an honor being able to host this with you. I enjoyed all your songs. And ladies and gentlemen, follow us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, keep up with us. We're here every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's Southern Rounds. Bring the songwriters to your house. Catch a ride on the steamboat, baby. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Kevin Mack, and welcome to another session of Southern Rounds. Southern Rounds is a weekly songwriter show we do every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if this